The San Francisco Police Department says it has completed a list of reform recommendations first handed down by the U.S. Justice Department in 2016. During that time, the police department had been rocked by a series of scandals, including racist text messages and officers-involved shootings. ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns joins us live from the newsroom with the story. Tim? Yeah, Kristen, now these recommendations were meant to transform the police department and in particular with how it deals with communities of color. Now, eight years later, SFPD says the work it's done, it's proud of it, but critics say it's too early for celebration. Let's be clear about that. This is an accomplishment. Congratulations at San Francisco City Hall Friday. Police Chief Bill Scott joining with Mayor London Breed and other local leaders to celebrate SFPD's completion of recommended reforms first set out by the U.S. Department of Justice back in 2016. The reforms are intended to transform the police department and make it a model for other agencies around the country. The goal? To better connect the police with the communities they serve. An objective Chief Scott says they've accomplished. Now we're starting to see use of force going down again. We've increased diversity in hiring and recruitment. That was one of the five areas of focus. Despite the progress, some think the celebrations are premature. On Friday afternoon, the SF Public Defender's Office releasing a statement saying racial bias and excessive force still exists within SFPD. Uh, we can't forget that the racial disparities in terms of who gets stopped, who gets searched, and who has force used on them are still uh, 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 grossly problematic, and they still exist. Others, like criminal justice professor Lisa Hill of Cal State East Bay, say the department should be applauded for undertaking the reforms. The, the concern is that we've gone through a checkoff list. Professor Hill says transparency will remain key for SFPD moving forward, taking steps to repair the harm that's been done in the past. There has to be some efforts to reunite with this community. You know, um, policing is community public service work. As for city leaders, they say they recognize that in spite of completing the current reforms, they know a lot more work still needs to be done. This does not mean that we won't continue the great work that we are doing to balance the reforms that we need to implement, as well as making sure that we focus on public safety for San Francisco. Now, in total, SFPD says they've implemented all 272 recommended reforms. In the newsroom, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News. All right.